you, Jesus, for your grace, your mercy, your favor upon my life. I am in your presence. Give me the grace to remain in your presence by your word and your spirit. In Jesus Christ's name. Amen. Shall we clap for Jesus? We may be seated. You are welcome. I say you are welcome. In Jesus' name. Amen. Greet your neighbor, say you are welcome. I will welcome you in the name of Jesus. Thank you. Yes, there is no time, but let me say one or two things concerning our journey. We had a covenant Sunday. We all know. And we thank God that he did it. We are no longer under any shrine. We are under the blood of Jesus. We are all our sins are washed away. The one that you know and the one that you don't know, they are washed away. Even those you know where you are not committed, committed by someone else, I mean our forefathers, is washed away. The blood of Jesus. Amen. Because of what? We are going to uh, build a covenant house. And this house shall stand against anyone who is trying to challenge the supremacy of God Almighty over our lives. This house is not the house for members, but for believers. Amen. And this is the only instrument and weapon your faith can use to fight spiritual battle. Today, no one can stand against Israel. We all know we have been teaching how might and great of God of Israel. Because of what? The covenant they made. We are saving a covenant keeping God. If we build this house, you are not building a house of Pastor Mlenga. No, 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 no. You are building your father's what? House. You know, ngakulikwe chintu echo mufile mwachita. Kukulila lese nganda. Not chikulufe nganda like this. You cannot honor God, the honor of copper. Emerald, gold, suj light. You build a house like this one. Fishing bifieka fieka. Go to the place where politicians are meeting. The first thing that will greet you is aircon. The environment. It is us who are meeting in a place which is like a place of poverty. But for this house we are going, and I'm happy that God has already done it. The house we are going to build, we have already there. I am not saying this again. Uh, no, we are already there. We are just waiting now for the time to come so that we bring the, 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 the what? The contractor who built this house. We have done it through you and me. We are going to build this house. Amen. But those who feel like, I want to be, I said it on Sunday. I said, if you cannot make a decision today, you can just go home. Then thereafter, you think about it. You can still come back and say, I want to put my hand there. But don't bring your own idea that he, me, what I can manage is to watch her. We are following the instruction we are given to say this is the way to go. Don't bring your own amount. We are not here to make money. No. If it is money, the money that we spend on this arrangement, you can buy a vehicle and you know you are driving a vehicle. It is not money. If you convert $4,500 into what is how much? 
As an individual, you are having that money. It's how, it's how much in Kwacha. You can buy, you know, a Kolola, a Halion, you are, you are what? You are driving. We want to build a covenant what? House. And I thank God for you that he, you have done it. Mm -hmm. We are going to do that. Come next year. You see Jesus at work here, putting up his own things on this land. But those, you know, Aba Lembe, Sheaba Chesa meet Yaria Makad. Honor your promise so that you will not destroy your future. God said, I will not break my promise. If you read Judges chapter 2, verse 1, He said, I will not break my word. That is Judges chapter 2. He said, I will not break my covenant or promise. You will stick to that. You to stick to your promise. Our period is from September up to December. If you feel like you want to be part of it, you are at liberty. Cards are still available. Those who want to still come and contribute. You see the tables there. You go and ask them. Even the covenant oil is there. But take note of this. Oil is for free. No one can buy prayer. This is why you see, even on Sunday, even the children got what? Oil. Everyone. You cannot buy a prayer or anointing. No. No. Oil is for what? It is covenant what? Oil. Two things you need to carry. When you participate, you carry covenant oil and a covenant card. A white one. They are there. So if you want to uh, be part of it, feel free to approach our sister there. You hear more, you fill in, whatever. If you want to pay, you can pay them there. If you want to say, no, uh, maybe uh, month end or next month, it, 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 it's you now. Amen. You'll be proud of this land. Even after us who are standing before you, let me just, me, you'll be proud of this land. The spirit of God shall remain on this land. Because this land does not belong to Mlenga or anyone. This land belongs to Jesus. We dedicate this land to him. This is why we are going to build that covenant house. In honor of his holy name. Amen. I hope that one is clear. So if you feel that you want to still come and the uh, cards are there. You can go there, get the card, get co covenant oil. They will bring them. The, 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 you, you bring the, the what? I don't know if it is basket, oil, covenant oil basket. You, you, you bring them, you, you get it, you go home with it. We are enjoying freedom. We, we are sleeping like babies, personally. I don't know you. <laughs> are you sleeping like a baby? Oh, if you have children, it's off magmushi. I can't know which time bite food. I go not the Don't invite them again. Let them go forever and ever so that you worship Jesus freely. Praise the Lord. So this is the covenant card. Uh, that is our ark of covenant there. There is too much, you know, uh, dust here. So this is the card you get. Let's go to the book of Acts. Chapter 3, verse 12. When Peter saw this, he said to them, Fellow Israelites, why does this surprise you? Why do you stare at us as if our own power of godliness we had made this man walk? 13. The God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, the God of our Father, has glorified his servant Jesus. You handed him over to be killed and to disown him before Pilate. Through he and he decided to let him go. 14. You disown, tell your neighbors, do not disown the Holy Spirit. Do not disown the Holy Spirit. Yes. If you disown the Holy Spirit, you disown your destiny. 
you have no direction. They disowned Jesus and preferred a criminal to be released, and Jesus be killed. We cannot blame them because that was the arrangement, you know, which God Almighty put on the ground that Jesus must be killed for our freedom. But for you, do not disown the Holy Spirit. You disown the old and righteous one and ask that a murderer be released to you. You killed the author of life, but God raised him from the dead. We are witnesses of this. 16. By faith, in the name of Jesus, this man whom you see and know was made strong. It is Jesus' his name and the faith that comes through him that he has completely healed. Praise the Lord. Let me say a few things because of time. This is the time when Peter and John prayed for a man who was, you know, paralyzed. He was just a beggar. He was begging. When you enter the church, you see this man asking for help. Every day, believers were going there. But a day came when Peter and John were coming to worship. And they saw this man. And the man was expecting Peter and John to give, you know, him something. But to the contrary, Jesus, the author of life, was with Peter and John. There is no human being, people of God, who can be a solution to your life. It is only Jesus. Because what you need in life is what I need. The best that you want is what I want. No one can, you know, sacrifice his own life for the sake of others to live. It is only Jesus. There is no leader here on earth, caught me clearly, who can die for you and for your children. It's a lie. Every man loves his own children more than his brother's children. But Jesus loves every one of us. This is why in John 3 verse 16, the Bible says that for God so loved the world that he gave one and only son that whosoever believes in him shall never be put to shame or shall not be condemned. In other words, this is why Peter said, he was talking to the believers. He saw this and he said to them, fellow Israelites, why does this surprise you? In short, he's telling them that, why are you not, you know, believing in Jesus? The man that you killed is the one who has done this to this man. You rejected the power that can save your life. You rejected the presence that can protect you. And this is what this man can do. He has done it to this man. You know this man that he has been a beggar and a ram for quite some time. But today, the man is very strong. He can walk and stand. You disown the author of life. If you say, this brother is the author of this book, what are you telling us? He is the owner. He wrote this book. There are people can say, I wrote 20 books. There are authors behind those books. Before you start writing any book, you need to meet these people. They will guide you how to go about this one. Now, when it comes to life, it is Jesus. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. He said, God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, but this is 13, and the God of our fathers, has glorified his servant Jesus. You handed him over to be killed and you disown him before Pilate. Although he had decided to let him go, 
You disown, this is 14 now. You disown the Holy Spirit. Because Jesus was calling the Holy Spirit. You disown the holy and righteous one. That is Holy Spirit in him. You choose a criminal to come out so that you continue disturbing innocent people. Because if you say release a criminal and kill the righteous one, what are you telling us? You want to continue with your criminal activities. So do not disown the Holy Spirit. No matter what situation you are facing, as a believer, as a child of God, our spiritual life does not depend upon this flesh or how many years you must or the title that you carry inside the church. No. We depend that is our strength. Without the Holy Spirit, you cannot stand and overcome the challenges that we are facing now. Yesterday, I saw this, you know, disaster. Two disasters. One from Morocco. One from Libya. There's another place where volcano is you know, boiling like water in the pot. 10,000 people are missing in Libya because of the flood. 2,800, let me just say 3,000 in Morocco died because of the earthquake. And it happens in the night when people are sleeping. Then you go back to the word of God, you realize that, oh, so these are the signs that we are getting closer to the end time. It doesn't mean that the end has come, but we are getting closer. This is why you need the Holy Spirit to keep you alert. If you disown the Holy Spirit, you disown your destiny. People of God, 3,000 people lying down on the floor, dead. Look at the number. Look at the orphans. This reminds me that human beings are nothing. Human beings are what? You are sleeping in a very nice and well-vanished house. You cannot control a natural disaster. You don't know that this is the last night here on earth. You eat, you enjoy, you, you watch whatever you watch, you go to bed. That is the last day here on earth. Tomorrow, you are a dead body. Only the spirit of God can remind you to say, leave this place. Something is on the way. People are dying like chicken. Only the Holy Spirit can remind you about the time. Whether young or old, we are all human beings. Do not disown the Holy Spirit. The same Jesus they rejected, the same Jesus came back by the power of the Holy Spirit and he started now healing their children. They rejected him. He did not reject it because he understands the nature of human beings. Come on, people of God. Let the Spirit of God be in charge over your life. Be in charge over your affairs. Money is good, but it is nothing without the Holy Spirit. Marriage is good. Children are good. But they are nothing without what? The Holy Spirit. There will be a thorn in your flesh. Do not disown the Holy Spirit. They rejected him. Rejected, but wanted. 
at the same time. What you reject is what you need, is what you want. People are saying, if you have a pen, 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 these are the people who need the same Holy Spirit they are rejecting today. Your wife is barren. You are having a spiritual problem. You prefer to go and see a witch doctor. And the Holy Spirit is here for you to solve that problem. You want to renew the same evil foundation you inherited from your mom and your dad. Because you are rejecting the Holy Spirit. This is why we have made a covenant. And no one can argue about it. It is done and enshrined. We are Jesus' generation. No argument. We are Jesus' generation. No, prayer is like food. Prayer is like what? We eat every day. You wake up sometimes, some of you, even in your bedroom, you are sleeping, you are eating. Before you sleep, there must be something, you know, around your, your, uh, your headboard or on the table. Hmm? Do not disown the Holy Spirit. Tell your neighbor. Yes. Look at what is happening in the world today. I have already told you, Libya, my heart yesterday, I felt it bad. When I see small, small children, at least you and me, we are old enough. We have enjoyed our days. But a small girl like this one, a small boy, was never tasted anything. Only Shima died like a chicken with a natural disaster. No one cares for a human being here on earth, apart from God Almighty. Vehicles were flying like, you know, uh, quite two papers. That's why I'm going to go to the not to go to the house. I'm not to go to the not to go to the house. I'm 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 not to the the Bible says that he's the author of life. Where, where? Uh, yes, let, let, let me read verse um, 14. You disown the old and the righteous one and ask that a murderer be released to you. You killed the author of life. That is Jesus. This is 15. You killed what? The author of life. Now listen to what the Bible says, but God raised him from the dead. God raised him from where? Simply means if you believe in Jesus, nothing that can kill you here on earth except the will of God over your life. Nothing that can end your life prematurely. Jesus was killed by human beings' idea, but the will of God denied their idea to say, no, 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 no. This one cannot be killed like this. He will come back to life. He came for a mission and a purpose. Not yo, you never yama wakwa kaputa. Mulay chushi afye. Kuri nawa kwata wa yama kumalawi. Kuri nawa kwata wa yama kumozambiki. Kuri nawa kwata wa yama kuisoko apusana apusana. It is only Jesus. Umu kulu pawa kulu. Umu ome pisa. So I'm encouraging you. This man received the healing through the name Jesus. Or oh, let me just say, the name Jesus healed the man, not through. The name Jesus healed the man through his faith. He had faith in Jesus. In the life, he had faith in Jesus. 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 He had faith Bali ba connected kuba ari mu power ndo shita iti na wali mu power ila no wana wali mu power but etiro wena ni ancestral cannot you know fear anyone as long as you are there no it is only jesus 
It is only what? Only you can do what no man can do. Who is that man? Jesus. Only you can do what no man can do. That is what my mother, my father cannot do. Jesus can do that for me. In any movie, come. You never, 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 never be great in your life. That covenant we made on Sunday is not a slogan. It is a reality of his present over our lives. We are Jesus' generation. We are what? And future will prove you that yes, these are Jesus' what? Generation. Whether they like it or not, we are Jesus' generation. Our children, grandchildren, they are no longer under those, you know, those are the children. Not to become Omkulu. Now, Mish Womkulu. I'm quite a Mish. Jesus. Okay, can't you now wish one of you? Not to become Mish. Ushla Lotulo, my own Mish Wom. I'm quite a Wonderful. Ninsa Sham Momkulu, she shall be among an amu become. My Mish Womkulu. I'm quite none. Yes, so Christ. Nanga Chakaripa. Yes, so Christ. Not that we shall be at to Ale Monaco in Shakunuma. People start asking you questions after this. What happened? What happened? What happened? What happened? Amen. You know, devil is Ula chinja. Mm. Na tumusa nshamo yesu. Eh, emuadi. Mulibaifu. Amen. Thank you. God bless you.